I have these friends that came up with this really cool concept for their lives and then now I've adopted this in my own life and it's this question, who is on your board of directors? Right? Who are the people that are sitting around your table, they're speaking into your life, they're helping you troubleshoot certain situations, they're encouraging you, they're brainstorming with you. Who are the people that have that insight into your life that when something goes wrong or maybe when you're with the wrong person or maybe you're stumbling in some area, they can look at that, point to it, uh, and then encourage you to repent and to turn around, walk a different direction. Who is on your board of directors? Proverbs 12, 15 says this, the way of fools seems right to them, but the wise listen to advice. If we were left to our own devices and our own advice, maybe sometimes we would get it right. But oftentimes we see that in isolation, left to our own thoughts, left to our own decision-making, we can find ourselves in trouble. It's why in the very beginning, God said that it's actually not good for man to be alone alone. We need companionship. We need help. And so my question to you is this, in whatever season you're walking through, in whatever situation you're walking through, whether it's a health diagnosis, whether it's a parenting struggle, whether it's something going on in your marriage, whether it's a work thing, whether it's a personal sin temptation thing, do you have people in your life that you have appointed them to speak into your life, to encourage you and to challenge you? Do you have people that you can practice accountability with? Do you have people that are safe people that you can run to in the midst of hardship that can minister the grace of God to you? Proverbs is a book of wisdom, so it sets you up for a wisdom-filled life. And it says this, if you're, if you're going your own way and you're left only to your own thoughts and your own opinions, you might not end up in the right spot. But actually, the way of the wise is to listen to advice. So who are the people that you've invited into your life to speak into your life? And if you don't have anybody, if you're looking around and you're like, man, I'm, I don't really have a council of people. I don't really have a board of directors. I don't have people that are a little bit ahead of me that can look at my life and, and give me wisdom and, and have impact on my life. Maybe it's time to start looking around and maybe you can start looking around at your local church. Maybe it's time to join a small group. Maybe it's time to ask somebody to meet with you for coffee and read the Bible with you. Take a step this week in terms of surrounding yourself with people who can love on you, who can pour into you, who can encourage you, people who can be your board of directors. Hey, thanks for watching that refuel. We would love you to subscribe below. Hit the subscribe button for this YouTube channel because this Bayside YouTube channel is where we send out all of our video content so you can get all of it. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.